What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel, and in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video, I'm actually going to be talking about the next deck build pack, I, I, I guess the new expansion set for the OCG called Ancient Guardians, there might be some info on there, um, I'm also going to be uh, talking about the new, about the, uh, about the other two reprints coming out of the Selection 10 set, and also, which is actually the first thing that I'm going to be, I'm going to be uh, talking about in this video, the full set list for Genesis Impact. So that's all. That's the first thing that I'm going to be talking about. Um, honestly, there's really not much we can expect from from this set, other than the fact that that the archetype, other than the fact that um, some of the reprints are actually not that good. Truth be told, they are not that good, but there are some that are still pretty good. Uh, so I'm gonna go in numerical order. So, so so going from going in numerical order for Genesis Impact, we have Crowley, the Majestus of Grim Grimoires, Zora Zorua, Zorua, yeah, the Majestus of Flames. Uh, we have Riliona, the Majestus of Vier. And Dimian, the Magistus of Magis Magistry. So a lot of people are probably asking, is this does this have anything to do with with the Endymion archetype? Truth be told, it does not. A lot of people have, have been have been saying that, oh, it has something to do with the Endymion and whatnot. Truth be told, it doesn't. It's it's an archetype completely on its own. Completely on its own. So just wanted to um Just wanted to verify that right now. Then we have uh, Iwas, the Magistus uh, Spell Spirit. Varam, the Magistus Divinity Dragon. Ninaru, -ru. I could just, I, I know I just completely butchered that name. Uh, the Magistus Glass Goddess. Artemis, the Magistus Moon, Ma Magistus Moon Maiden. Trice Magistus. Um... Uh, Magistus Theurgy, Magistus Invocation, Magistus Vitra, and then we have the Live Twin Archetype, which we have Live Twin, Kisakil, Kisakil, Killa, and then of course we have Evil Twin, and then we also have the Evil Twins, which are Kisaki. Evil Twin Lila, Evil Twins, Kisakil and Lila. So I guess that's the new, that's the Link Monster, I think. Uh, Live Twin Home, Live Twin Channel, Secret Password, Evil Twin Challenge, Evil Twin GGEZ, um, Evil Twin Present, and then Drytron. So this is the, and then and then the Drytron archetype is in here as well. Uh, so we have Drytron, Alpha Thuban, Beta Rast, Rastaban, uh, Gamma Eltonin. Uh, Delta, Delta Altais. I think I, 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 again, some of these I'm probably going to butcher, so forgive me on that. Uh, Zeta Ald, Altiba, Medionis Dracon, Draconids, uh, Medionis Quadrandis, um, Fafnir, Dr uh, Medionis Drit Drytron, Drytron Nova, Eclipse, Asterism, Meteor Shower, and then, and then Meteor Shower. And then for the reprint, some of these are actually pretty cool, but some of them are just not that good. So we have Cyber's Gadget, Performance Hat Tricker, Star Drawing, Cyber Angel Benton, Nightmare Griffin, Cyber Emergency, which is a, which is a really good uh, card. Excellent reprint uh, for all of those Cyber Dragon players out there. Extra Foolish Burial. Um, honestly, this was one that I was kind of uh, eh about. Because while it is true that you are sending a card, a card from your extra deck to the graveyard, that card you that that you send to the grave might not do might not do a whole lot. So I, I was kind of iffy on that one. Uh, Born from Draconis, which is actually a really interesting card. Um, it's kind of in interesting because I think because it's kind of like a. Uh, it's 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 kind of like a limit overdrive, but in trap form, so so to speak. So it's kind of a kind of a weird one. Bottomless trap hole, another really good, actually a really interesting reprint. Honestly, Herald of Ultim Ultimateness, Incantation, Chalice Slime, Beat Cup from the Other World, 
in the world, which is an interesting reprint, but it works with the live twin, evil twin uh, archetype. Uh, backup secretary, Nightmare Unicorn, Nightmare Phoenix, two excellent, excellent cards uh, for for the for pretty much for pretty much any deck, any any deck that can make these two cards, absolutely perfect. Uh, number ninety six, Dark Mist, not the best reprint. Um, even though even though it ensures that your mon that Dark Mist's attack points becomes at least hundred points higher than your opponent's. It just, it just doesn't do 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 so well, honestly, in my personal opinion. Um, then we have okay. Then we have Alistair, the Invoker of Madness. The book the book of the law invokes Kakaitis, Kakai, invoked Magel Magellancia, Signet Regener Regression, World Legacy, World Lance, Engraver of the Mark, and Performance Damage Juggler. So out of so out so out of all these reprints. Um, I think those. I think some of the more valuable ones you're gonna want to go after are are obviously Cyber Emergency, Bottomless, Unicorn Phoenix, um, uh, World Lance probably just to name name a few anyway. Those are some of the more better ones you'll probably go after. Um, but uh, yeah, so obviously my laptop is gonna be an be an asshole again because well, it likes to be. So let me. I swear my laptop is so stupid. All right, well, while all right, well, while I'm trying to figure out my laptop, um, I'll do a question of the day really quickly. So, what are you guys' thoughts on Genesis Impact, and what what cards are you do you think are going to be are going to be the collector's rares? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious to see what you guys have have to say. Um, honestly, I think, uh, that's a hard one. I would have to say possibly, um, I would have to say damage jug damage juggler, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of an, kind of an interesting one to think about. Cause I think, um, Al I think Alistair, the invoker of madness will, will probably be one of them. Given the fact that it's, it's, it's an excellent card going, you know, you know, when you're playing, you know, should all invoked or pretty much any th any deck that has in that has the invoked engine, it's pr it's it's gonna be good in my honest opinion. But out of all of them, not nothing really too crazy for for the uh, for these card. You know, for the for the whole um, you know for the collectors rares, but. That but the, the, that's just my opinion anyway. I really don't see the the collector's rares being that valuable in this set. Um, we might. I mean, they may. I, I mean, I mean some. I mean some. Some of these decks might become might become broken in in in, in the current meta. But um, anything. But any anything can happen. Anything can happen with this one. So all right, you guys. So with that being said, um, we have actually a new. Come on, you. Bastard. All right, so now I'm going to be talking about the new deck build set, Ancient Guardians. It's going to be re released in the OCG, and apparently, and um, it'll go on sale in the OCG uh, March 6th, 2021, and um, and Honestly, the the only thing that I can think about is the fact that we might see some new support for Guardians, for for the for Raphael's cards. We might see reprints of them, uh, and then also um, and also some cards for the Ancient Fairy Dragon uh, bi uh, style build. So we may see Fairy Dragon come back if it does come back. Um, that's an interesting one. That's an interesting uh, interesting development. They may end up putting it to one just to. Give the deck some, you know, that type, that's that variant, uh, a bit of a extra like kick, if you will, if you will. So honestly, I'm not so sure what to. Ex honestly, I'm I'm not so sure what to expect from from that from that set. But obviously, obviously, if you guys uh, read the the Shonen Jump mangas and whatnot, there'll probably there'll probably be some more info on that. But 
with the so obviously um so we now have the selection 10 uh set and we finally and we now have two two additional reprints so so the first one is sun dragon overlord of heliopolis which i am actually going to look that up i've no i i have no clue what that card does so i'm going to look it up really quickly excuse me and i'm going to see Okay, if it'll actually, let me, yep, it's going to close on me. There we go, finally. Alright, so now, let us take a look. If I can get to the website. Here we go. So, what was the name of it again? Sun Dragon Overlord. Well, apparently my laptop is going to be a bitch, so, um, is there, can I not search anything? Okay, well, okay, well, um, okay, well, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to look up anything, so it's going to screw me Yep, it's just gonna... Okay, well... Okay, well, if you guys do know, um, let me know. Let me know in the comments below what, what the card does, because I have no idea. I'm not gonna... Be, yeah, I can't search anything. Um, so if you guys know what the card does, Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis, let me know in the comments below, because I have no idea what it does. But we also do have Unexpected Die, which is an, in, which is an interesting reprint, honestly. Um, it's an... It's an interesting reprint... Um, to say, to say the very least, um, okay, yeah, so it's not going to go. All right. Yeah. So it's quite the interesting reprint, but those are the two reprints that you can get from the set. Um, nothing really, nothing really too crazy on that, but, um, but yeah, so with that being said, the last the other two things I wanted to talk about, there was one last thing that I wanted to bring up. Um I know I I know I know that this was a relatively short video, but um was there anything else? Okay, so there is one last thing that I wanted to um bring up and it's another Konami event. It's a Konami event called Jump Festa 2021. Um, so let's see what, where, where this goes. Okay. So, so, so this is for those who want, who are, who are going to uh, attend. Um, so, um, so at, so at 2 PM Japanese standard time on December 19th and 20th of this year, the latest Jump Festa stage will air. So, if you guys know anything about that, let me know in the comments below. I don't know, no, I know nothing of it. Um, the 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 only thing that I, that I see here is that is that there's going to be something for something for for animes like One Piece, Naruto, Boruto, um, Jump Force, and several other events as well, and several other things as well. Honestly, I'm not really interested in it, but if you guys but if you guys know anything about that, let me know in the comments because I don't even know, honestly. But with that being said, that's actually going to do it for this video. There was, I don't know if there was anything. Yeah, I think that was it. Um, so, all right, you guys, so that is going to do it for, for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you guys are new to the channel. And you guys love seeing these types of videos for WWE and de and for Yu-Gi-Oh. Definitely, definitely hit that hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way. Stay tuned because because I'm gonna be doing a bandless prediction video 
Um, sometime, sometime, sometime between this Friday and next week, a week from, so, so sometime between this Friday and next Wednesday, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that, I think I'm gonna be, there's, there's gonna be a lot to talk about in terms of what's, in, in terms of what's going on in, in today's meta, uh, there's a lot, there, there's a lot to talk about, trust me, um, you know, with the release of Maximum Gold, the Charmer Structure Deck that we just recently got, with also with um with obviously with Genesis Impact Impact com coming out we could see Ancient Fairy Dragon be taken off which I will be talking about that in in that particular video so stay tuned for that um also too guys before I sign off tomorrow I'll, obviously you, you obviously you guys know tomorrow is Thanksgiving so happy Thanksgiving to you guys um I'm going to be doing my video a little bit earlier than normal because I'm going to be having some of my family, actually the worst side of my family, truth be told, um, show up. So I'm not, so I probably, so I'm not going to be doing my video as, you know, on, at, you know, regular time. So I'll be doing it a little bit earlier, like, so, like around, like, sometime between 8.30 to 9, to 9.30 uh, a.m. Pacific time. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But, make, but, 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 with that, but with that being said, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links are down in the description. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.